everyone, welcome back to my channel and to all things language, culture, and travel. I'm Michaela. if you're new here, if you're not, welcome back. And today I have a video all about COSI. So what is COSI? COSI is the Center for Science and Industry. And I took my nephew there. So I had been to COSI when I was like 10 years old. And it's honestly like a really well-known place like amongst kids and adults. It's for kids and for adults. It's for everybody. And I wanted to tell you about our experience and also if it was worth it because it was a little pricey. It did have a lot of different exhibits. So when we went, we went to the planetarium, the ocean exhibit, there was a dinosaur exhibit. They had Cuba that was featured that was also included in our ticket price. And they had Marvel, which was not included in our ticket price. And honestly, I wasn't about to spend 30 extra dollars to take me and my nephew just to go see the Marvel exhibit when he's not even old enough to read. So <laughs> like he wasn't gonna enjoy it. He might have enjoyed looking at the superheroes, but it just wasn't really worth it to me. So let's talk about the price to begin with. A ticket for an adult over the age of 12, I guess is considered an adult now, is $25. And the ticket for a youth from two to 12 is actually $20, $5 less for kids age two, mind you, at, from the age of two who won't even remember this experience, it is a $20 ticket. A little bit crazy, but I'm gonna tell you why it was so worth it. Even for me, I had a blast. And I had a blast for two reasons. One, because I loved watching my nephew have fun. And two, because there's so much to learn and I thoroughly enjoyed myself in reading about the different things in each room that we went to. Also, COSI is extremely interactive and hands-on. They have a whole bunch of different experiments that you can do. They have a bike that's like in the middle of the entrance right when you walk in. That's high up and I remember doing it when I was 10 everybody else that I went with was scared I think that was my first adventure moment like my first adrenaline rush was riding this bike and it's like a unicycle no hands you know super high up <laughs> naturally I wanted to start in the dinosaur room because my nephew he loves dinosaurs and he's so smart we walk in he's like Aunt Kay that's a t-rex that's a stegosaurus that's a triceratops and it was honestly a really cool room. I had a lot of fun in this area. They had a lot of interactive things like dinosaur eggs and um, different feathers that you could look at. Unfortunately, when Sky and I went, something that I did not prepare for was the amount of daycares that were gonna be there or day camps, summer camps that had just groups of kids. And I kind of felt bad for him because every time there was something interactive, we like waited in line or, you know, I just said, come on Sky, like let's move on because the kids were just taking their absolute time on these things, which is fine. Everybody's there to learn. But my one singular child that was with me <laughs> was like behind 10 kids in line to do things. So keep that in mind. And we did go, I think we went on a Friday. So maybe a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday would be a better idea. Definitely not on the weekends. So the next room that we went into was the energy room. It was just all about how to preserve energy, electricity, gas. Also, there was, there was an interactive activity about how many people can fit into a car and which types of car. Uh, were best on gas and fuel and carpooling, which is really interesting. How to prevent air from getting into your house by caulking the little windows. It was so cute. The next room that we went into and probably my least favorite room was the ocean room. It was just my least favorite because there was water everywhere and kids splashing water everywhere, which that's how I know I'm getting old. I also saw a couple little girls drinking water and I was telling, I literally stopped them and said, you don't know what they put in this water. Like, don't drink this water. I'm sure it's safe because it's a bunch of kids, but like, where's your mother? Next, on our way to the planetarium, they had a little like space station and it was really cool to kind of like show like what astronauts kind of do and what they like dress up in and what it's like inside of the spaceship. But the planetarium was my favorite part. And I didn't record any of like the video or what it was talking about, but it really gave me an existential crisis, which is kind of why I loved it because it just reminded me that everything that I do is so small and insignificant um, and matters only to me, which maybe to some people that makes them like kind of like scared and nervous. But for me, I was like, okay, so that was helpful for me. It just kind of showed you how like we're so small. It was like, oh, here's our planet. Here's our solar system. Here's our galaxy. Look at all these other galaxies. Look at the super cluster of galaxies. Look at like, it just kept taking you further and further away. And it was like, we don't know even what like the next galaxy over is like. And it's just like, oh. The last part that we went into was 
the Cuba exhibit and we didn't spend a lot of time there for a couple reasons. One, I had to get to work that day and I also didn't want to spend so much time at COSI and because also Sky was too young to read any of the stuff so to him it just looked I guess like how Cuba would look and it wasn't really as interactive as the other more permanent exhibits. There were a couple of other things that we missed, Marvel being one of them I already mentioned, but also something called progress and gadgets. But definitely the rooms that I highly recommend. My favorite ones were the dinosaurs, ocean was okay, and uh, the planetarium. Well, that's it for this video. Did I think it was worth it? Yes. Did I think it was worth $45 just for me and a five-year-old who can't really read anything or understand any of the experiments he's doing? It was probably more for me, but nonetheless, it is a great family experience, day trip. You're gonna have a lot of fun. The kids are gonna have a lot of fun. And it's something that I definitely recommend. If you've ever been to Gosai, make sure that you leave a comment below and tell us your experience if you thought it was worth it. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if it helped you plan your next trip to Kosai, and I will see you in my next video.